Hello everyone! Today we are going to unbox two GOTS dolls that I bought from Facebook Marketplace. It took me weeks and weeks before the sale was finalized. And uh, But before that, the seller and I were communicating with each other and um, she was sharing with me her situation. And I didn't know, actually I didn't know if the sale will really happen. Because sometimes, you know, when, when we want to sell our dolls, we kind of like, think about it and we're like okay I need to let you go but then I don't want to let you go so I thought at first that that was what was happening but I'm so happy that I finally got them so we're gonna start with these with this one um, this is um, got I think this is a playline doll and um, if I'm not mistaken this sculpt is by I think she's by Cecil scale so we're gonna check it out let me go ahead and remove her from her box oh but before that let me just share um another thing about this uh sale so when we went to the seller's place to meet up with her we decided to um, meet up at costco parking lot or around that area and the seller did not really met up with us but did not meet up with us but um we met up with the husband and she gave me this card and this is one of the reasons why i like doll collecting not just because i acquire these material things but it's also because sometimes i feel like when we buy stuff from from the owner we are also helping them out and that happens to me with a lot of the purchases that I do from state sales and Facebook marketplace. And this is just one of the touching ones. So she gave me this and it has the date. It says July 31, 2021. Dear Grace, you have been a pleasure to interact with. You've been kind understanding regarding my husband's health, very polite and accommodating thank you i'm happy chloe and the winter doll will be enjoyed and displayed by you i bought them with love for a family in england years ago but they have been stored until now may god bless you with love joy and peace in your new home grace p.s i love your name i so wanted especially oh i'm sorry p.s i love your name i so wanted children especially a daughter I have three brothers, zero sisters, which kind of like the same with me. Um, I grew up with six brothers and I was the only girl. Uh, and I was going to name her Grace, but I wasn't blessed with children. God bless you. Safe journey home. Maybe we will meet one day. I didn't feel well this morning or I would have come. Regards. And it, it made me feel so like you know it, it, it feels good to be able to in simple ways um console or comfort or um help someone a stranger you never know or may never even meet in your life uh feel good at least for a few minutes or um a few hours of your time so let's proceed with unbox with unboxing this dolls so we're gonna remove her from her box unfortunately i do not enjoy dolls that are inside a box i prefer them outside a box so i know you've been inside a box all this time but this time they're going to be displayed with other dolls we're gonna free her from her box and this is her oh my gosh isn't she very pretty she has the Cecil skill face and i'm sure because she's never been removed she has her certificate of authenticity yep god's dolls are normally information are normally here so she has like a typical god's doll she has the god's bracelet here and she has her care instruction and let's go ahead and open this one so we will know better or more about her. Okay, here's the God's 
caring instructions counsels the inter entertain uh, maybe I did not read that one right so this is the one and it says art number zero seven five nine one seven nine and oh we can't really remove her from here unless we remove the tag so I guess what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do it this way for now because we're gonna be moving we're not yet done with all the stuff that we need to do so I I'm just gonna do it this way all right so here it is so there this is the certificate of authenticity and uh, it didn't say normally when I find it here it normally show oh but this is a play doll maybe that's why so here it is um, it doesn't really say much about the doll I was hoping it will show her name or the artist but this is all that it has in this And we'll see more. Maybe there's more information in here. It's in German. Uh, yeah, you might notice I have blue hands because I was packing up my art stuff. And some of the acrylic paint just got in my hand and I couldn't remove them yet. So I'm going to take care of that later on. Yeah, it doesn't say much about her. I was hoping it does, but I think she is by Cecil Skill. Let's just put this one back for now. All right, so let's put you back there. She has a Cecil skill face, but maybe she's by Hildegard Gonzel. I'm not quite sure. All right, so we're gonna check out her body. She has full vinyl body. She does not have the articulated um, hips. She has winter boots. I wonder why she doesn't have panty. Okay. She has no panty, but it's okay. I have a lot of panty here, so she will still have her panty. And besides, I'm sure I'm going to redress her. So she is in a winter um, outfit. And she's very pretty, isn't she? There she is. The box doesn't say much about her either, so I might have to... Let's look at the box. The box only has the art number. But it doesn't say who the artist is or, or what is the name. I think she is called the Winter Splendor. Anyway, so that's the first doll. I'm going to remove your stringing once we move. And then the second one is this one. And um, I believe this is the one that's named Chloe. She is a limited edition. There's an art number 0812013. So I'm wondering if that's the date. It looks like August 12 or August 1, 2013. And this is a limited edition, but it shows 2008. So maybe I'm wrong. It says... Um, number 290 of 3000 so this is a limited edition of 3000 and she has the box has this information um it's in german and in english too address c of b warren please keep address and um, there's um gott's logo there there's also a God's logo in front. And let's remove her from her box. Okay, so there she is. I'm going to remove this one. And 
All right. So, oh, she is also a winter. Looks like she's also wintry doll. So there she is. All right. This is different. This one looks more like a fashion doll to me because she she doesn't have the chunky legs. She has like a thin thin legs and has the high heels. So she is not meant to be a, a child doll. Maybe she's meant to be a, a teenage teenager doll or a model doll. We'll see. Um, all right, I'm not very familiar with this face. But there she is. There's her face. Oh, she's cute. She has very um, little, she has a, um, a small face. She kind of looks like she's more of fashion doll than a play doll. And she has, okay, this one has, she has um, also all vinyl body from head to toe. And the belly is, has the number, it says number 290 of 3000, 2008. So let's show that one. There she is. And she has the panty. Okay, now let's check her out. Um, we're gonna check her tag and see I'm sure she also has the gods um, yep she also has the gods bracelet I'm glad that this one like it's red normally when it's color red like that over time they will stain the vinyl but it doesn't look like she's stained there she is and this one is not removable I don't I tried removing these from my other gods dolls and um, I couldn't remove them, so there might be no way to remove these ones unless you cut them. And let's open the tag, see the certificate of authenticity. So this is the same thing. It's also caring instruction. And let's remove this one. I might end up redressing her too. And then putting her original outfit in a bag. That's what I do with when I redress my dolls because I don't just keep them in their original outfits. So I just remove them, uh, put their original outfit inside a, a, a ziplock, and keep them there. All right, so this is her certificate of authenticity. Okay, so she's not really, um, she's not really Chloe. This is so funny because a lot of times this happens like I thought that the seller would say something and then it ends up the certificate of authenticity is actually different so her name is Natalie maybe there's also a uh, the one that's named Chloe with the same face mold but this specific doll is Natalie and she is by one of my favorite artists Hildegard Gunzel yeah, I love Hildegard Gunzel dolls especially the recent ones and it says um, the same thing that's on her belly and on her box, 290 out of 3,000. And it says Hildegard Gunzel, oh, Gwenzel. I thought it's Gunzel. Okay. Huh, so it's Gwenzel. Graduated from the German Master School for Fashion Design in Munich and started working as a designer in the fashion and jewelry industry in 19. Okay, in 1972, she began making dolls as a hobby. So she started making dolls in 1972. At first, she experimented with different modeling materials, most often with Cernet. Currently, she works only in Placeline. Hildegard's dolls are always dressed in exquisitely detailed costumes using luxury fabrics. Over the years, she has won international recognition and numerous awards for her designs, including most recently a 2002 Doll of the Year Public's Choice Award for Holly from the first artist collection Hildegard created for Gods. So, yep, she is a world um, renowned artist. I like her a lot. I mean, her dolls. And she's very pretty too, because I've seen her on one of the catalogs. 
in one of the um, dolls that I bought and she's actually very pretty she's a doll herself anyway so that's the that's uh, Natalie so she's not Chloe she's Natalie all right so I'm gonna put them together see both of them are winter <laughs> And both of them are very very pretty I I don't know much about this one because um, her name is not in the uh, tag but I believe she is by Cecil skill there is something about her facial expression that makes me believe she's by Cecil skill because I also like that that artist so both of them are all vinyl this one has the chunky legs chunky body and she is the typical play line body and this one has thinner body most uh looks like she is more of a fashion doll line instead of a play doll line there they are so yeah because they're going to be uh moving we're our last move is going to be our final move is going to be on Saturday this coming Saturday so I'm not going to remove them yet from their from their stringing because they will have to be uh, put back for shipping anyway but yeah well once they are in the new house they're going to be removed from these boxes there they are and if you know more about this doll please 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 leave a comment so help me find out more about her thank you very much have a great day everyone bye bye